Today we're going to use Fusion 360 to design a simple object, export it to a slicing program, and then send it to the printer to print our object. We're just going to design a simple cylinder today. We're going to go to Create Sketch, and then select our plane. You can rotate objects in Simplify 3D, so it's not imperative on which plane you select, but we're going to choose the X plane, which is this flat plane right here. Now that we're creating a sketch, we're going to take our circle tool and we're going to type in 50 millimeters here to just have a small object. We're going to click on finish the sketch and now we just have a basic circle and we're going to click this extrude option and bring that up another 50 millimeters. So now we have a cylinder. Now that we have our cylinder, we need to get it into Simplify 3D. There are a few ways to do this. One of the ways you can do is go to File, and then hit 3D Print. It will then bring up the options. For refinement options, you have Low, Medium, High, or a custom setting. We're going to select High, which will have a larger file size, but will give you the most detail. We're going to then send it to a print utility, and then we'll have to navigate through our menu to find Simplify 3D if it's not already selected. We also need to select our object. Once in Simplify 3D, you can see your object. By double clicking on it, you can rename the model and also change some of its parameters. Once in Simplify 3D, you cannot change the actual model design, but you can change its scale. The scaling does not have to be uniform, and you can change these as well. But as I said, you cannot actually add additional parts onto your model, such as a ridge sticking out. You can rotate the model as well. Once a model is rotated, it may be through the print bed, and you'll need to re-click Center and Arrange. On 3D Potter printers, it does not print support very well, and we do not recommend printing objects that require support. Now we need to select a process. On our website, our Simplify 3D files are on our FAQ section. You can get to them by going to the Getting Started section or to our Simplify 3D Settings section. You're going to want to get into the Simplify 3D folder and download your FFF profile for your machine size. We're then going to open Simplify 3D, go to File, Import FFF Profile, and navigate to where the file downloaded to. You can then go to Process, and then select your new FFF imported profile. This imported profile only has the base settings for our machines. Some settings may need to be changed, such as the nozzle diameter. For our prints, a layer height of 1.5 to 2 millimeters is about right for a clay-like material. The setting vase mode in Simplify 3D allows for smooth movements of the z-axis moving upward, rather than jerky movements in between layers. It is a good idea to use one or two skirt outlines on 3D Potter printers. This will pre-prime the extruder and let you feel the clay preparing the base. One of the most important factors of 3D Potter printers is the print speed. While our printers are capable of printing over 100 millimeters per second, they best print around 20 to 40 millimeters per second. In order to print tall objects, you will have to print at a slower speed. Tall objects start getting a skyscraper in an earthquake-like effect, where the top of the print starts wobbling back and forth. A slower speed will prevent this. This may change your print area, 
so you need to click Center and Arrange once again. Now we are ready to print our file. You can view how your file is going to be printed by clicking the play slash pause animation. It is a good idea to view this animation and ensure that there are no extreme crossovers or anything that might hinder the print. And drag this bar back and forth to see how the print will go. Once you have ensured that the print looks good, we can go ahead and save it to the disk. We are now going to upload this file to our printer. Another way of generating models is getting them off the internet. Thingiverse.com has hundreds of models for you to choose from. Let's just search for a vase and download one of the very top results. We'll then open the file and open it with Simplify 3D. Like before with the cylinder, ensure that the print is correct and that there will be no crossovers inside of the print. When uploading to your printer, you want to go to G Code Files and then select Upload G Code File. You will then navigate to where you saved your file and upload it. With the file uploaded, it tells you the lost modified date and the object height, as well as some other values such as layer height and what created the file. This can help you when organizing your files. You are now ready to start printing your objects.